Hey guys, this is Jamrin guys. So in this tutorial, we are going to work with database tables. If tables are found in our database, then we are going to catch our strings that were stored in that specified database table. Our main objective is to store data inside our database table. Then after that, we need to check whether that same specified data is present inside our specific database table or not so if that is present and the given level is going to be updated or else it is going to throw error that this data was not present inside our database table so let us again do a small testing that is Samir is going to be stored in the database table and if user enters Samir inside the entry level then it is going to match with the given database table and then level is going to be updated that's all so we are going to create a new brand new xamarin forms project at first it is a dotnet standard project so at first we are going to add sqlite dot net dot pcl here you have to see sqlite net pcl which was developed by frank A. kruger and we need to add this package to all the three projects so this is my android project and i have sqlite.net pcl project inside my packages you can see over here sqlite.net pcl and inside our ios project 2 i have sqlite.net pcl just see that uh, sqlite.net pcl is in small caps inside our app.xaml.cs we are going to set main page as our starting page that is this page is going to be loaded at first whenever our application kicks off so inside our main page.xaml here we are going to create very simple three controls that is button as well as levels and entries so we are going to place those controls inside our stack layouts that is our first button with text add data in the database and I have created a clicked handler for it and which will be triggered inside our code behind of main page.xaml.cs you can see over here and I have given some background color for that given button you can play with those values of your own okay this is our click handler for our given button first button and there is another button with text match with database and update the given level which has another click handler and you can see over here we have handle button click one for our second button that is whenever that button is going to be clicked then some specific event is going to be happen so this is our level that is to be updated whenever button one and button two are triggered so that's all this is our main page.xaml now we will be working inside our main page.xaml.cs and we are going to trigger events whenever the button 1 and button 2 are clicked so at first we are going to define our sqlite connection using sqlite.net here you can see if you type public sqlite connection space database then it is defined inside our sqlite using sqlite.net pcl right and now whenever button one is clicked some specific events are going to happen over here that is we are first of all going to store the entry value inside our database it is a very small project but it is a useful one so whenever user enters some values inside our entry then the database is going to be opened at first if you are creating some tables then these tables are going to be stored inside special folder dot my documents on both android and ios that is because of sqlite.net pcl that magically creates tables inside our specified part of both android and ios so at first we are going to create one table that is pin code model is our table that is simple class so in order to create a simple class just right click on it and then click on empty class and then our empty class should look like this that is pin code model is our table and then we are going to define one simple string 
that will hold our entry values so my data will hold my entry dot text that is our entry dot text the values that were entered from our my entry dot text are going to be stored inside that tables my data so this is my entry and whenever user enter some values then this data is going to be stored inside that table string value and then the database is going to insert that table so our next objective is to find our database table and then check whether that given string is present inside our same table or not inside our database so at first we are going to define our database here you can see we are going to open our database connection again and then we are going to check whether our given table exists or not so this is how we are going to check whether our pin code model table is present inside that specified database that is user1.db by passing through parameterized passing of values and then we are going to check whether that given table is present or not so this is our pin code model table and if it is parameterized passing then I need to pass it as V so the same table name is going to be passed over here as pin code model if our table contains data then it is going to return as true or else it is normally going to be a false so if it is true then we are going to match our given text from our given entry with the same database table values that's all we are good to go and this pin code query is going to check those conditions whether that given string is present inside that specified table or not inside our given database if it is not null then it is going to return that given level as true and then that level is going to be updated or else it is going to tell no data match in that given specified database so we need to click on ok and then re-enter some values in order to match data inside our given database that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials